to my channel, Castong Venture, where we learn sewing tips. I want to say a big thank you to all the subscribers. I want to say thank you. Today is your first time of watching my video. I want to say I appreciate you. Thank you for choosing my video. God bless you. And then uh, each time you watch my video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like it. Share it. Eh? And tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. And as you do this, God bless you. And I will want to read from you. I want to read for your comments. Request for video you want us to make. And then by the grace of God, we attend to it. I want to read from you. Comment. Make your comment. Make a constructive comment. And let me know that at least I'm doing something. I'm doing a little thing. It will be not yet much. Eh? God bless you. Yes. Yeah, welcome to Custom Venture once again. Thanks to all our subscribers. And if today is your first time of coming across my video, I want to say you are highly welcome. God bless you. Stay tuned as we watch this uh, tutorial. I'll be drafting top uh, two. Two top. Okay, and here I have the, the basic measurements. The body basic measurements okay i have the upper chest line and then the bust i have the under bust and then i have the waist so i'll be working with this uh, basic body pattern okay so let's go so what is the first thing we are going to do we're going to measure our Boss span. We just start from one boss to the other, and I have eight. So from my bust, I will measure eight divided by two. I'll be having four. So I will measure four inches. Four inches. Then down to waist. Then I connect them. Okay, so I've connected there. So on this dark line now, I'm going to take measure one and a half on both sides. So I will divide one and a half into two. So I have seven and a half, 0.75, sorry, 0.75. I'm sharing one and a half between these two lines. So I have one point seven five. 0.75 the same thing on the waist okay so here on the on the bust line i will come down by half an inch so that by the time we connect it there won't be too it won't be too sharp okay so the next thing i connect these lines together connect from here Connect this one. If you find any of our video helpful, please don't forget to give us thumbs up, like it, share it, and then subscribe. So I haven't gotten this one now. Okay, so I go down to the the shoulder here, the shoulder measurement here. So I measure this one here, find out what it, it is. So I have uh, three and a half. So half of three and a half will give me 1.75. I think so, yes. So from here now, I connect it to this dot. Okay? Connect it to the dot there. We get in it okay so the next thing now we're going to find the the distance between the boss and the under boss to give us the circumference of the person's bust and if you look at it, it's going to be a busted person you know and then so let's measure it so let's 
so from bus and under bus we have five and a half okay so this five and a half we are going to take the circumference so that we can know where we're going to cut it so this five and a half from the bus line i mark it through like this five and a half five and a half five and a half it's from the bus line five and a half so just give it the circumference of the person's bus so we connect it the circumference of the the bus yeah? just to give us the idea of what the person's bus looks like okay you don't have to have a big busty person you know so the next thing we're going to do now look at it the 5.5 makes this place okay this is where the it's like the pivot now the meeting point for this circumference of the bust and the line from the shoulder okay so now the the same measurement we took from here one and a half we are going to take it from this point now where they met so 0.75 here 0.75 here so we connect it to this that here and i do that with my say through here okay and then the same thing here connect it to this place Okay, so you will do a bit manipulation here because it doesn't, it's not our boss, it's not sharp. So the way you are cutting it, it will be too sharp. So we are, with the cutting of this one, this one is our, what we are cutting off. Okay, so I haven't gotten this now. So this is where the, the boss, this is the upper case line, you know, this is upper case line. So our boss is going to take this shape now so we connect it this way okay. so this way is going to be our new armpit sort of okay for instance now this is where the boss is and then if you feel that you don't want your own to be too low so you can just add an inch one one inch if you want it close you don't want your boss to be too open so if you are going with this one this is what you are going to cut everything goes back to your under bust but if you think you don't want it to be too low you can go an inch higher If you go an inch higher, so you are still going to do the same thing. You are still going to do 7.5, 7.5 here. So that means this line is drawn up. And so your new bus line will take this shape. But everything will still come back to this way on the bus here. Okay, so let's say this is one, this is two. So it depends on the one you are going to take. But they all end at the upper case line. Okay. So I haven't gotten this one now. What are we going to do? We're going to input our body measurement properly. Okay. So the bust I have, bust measurement I have is 48. So if I divide 48 by 48 by 4, I will have a 12. So I'll be measuring 12 from the upper case. It's what I use for upper case, I'm going to use for the bust. So if I'm measuring 12 inches, and remember, I have taken one and a half here. So I will have 13 and a half, okay? This is my 12 inches, and this is my one and a half that I took here. 
13 and a half. Okay, so it's the same thing I'm going to measure for bust. The upper upper chest line and the bust will be taking the same thing. Okay, so that is that about. Therefore, the under bust, I have 42. 42 divided by 42 divided by 4, I will have 10.5. 10.5. I've taken one and a half here. This is the measurement. The one I've taken here is one and a half. So that is there. 12. 12. Okay. And then for my waist, it's the same thing I have here. I have the same thing for the bust and the under bust and the waist. That is 12. The same 12. Okay, so the next thing now I'm going to connect them. So after connecting them, you know, if you if you take notes, I didn't add any any sewing seam allowance there. Okay, so. I'm not going to add half inch. You can have half inch, you can have an inch. It depends on what you want. I will be putting half an inch. Half an inch. Then on the name for the soap joining, I will also put up an inch to it. Up an inch for it. Now, we are going to take note of something. If you remember what I put for the dance, I don't put any seam allowance. It's after I've cut it, I will be putting the seam allowance on the fabric that I'm going to cut. Okay? So then, and I will be putting the sewing allowance for this one too in the fabric. So I will go for the first one. I told you we can go for this, you can go for this, but I will go for this one, the first one. So let me cut it. Okay. Okay, then I will cut. Before I cut out this one, I'm going to use this one to cut the back, the back block. Okay, so let's cut that one first. Okay, so we want to cut the back block now. So what we do here, we just mark the the points here. You know. The back one is going to just be a basic measurement. Basic one. There won't be this cuff, of course. Uh -huh. And not this one will not be there. So we just mark so that we know where we're going to trace. We just trace it. For you to know that what you cut is on the right side, look at the lines, make sure the lines are aligned. Okay, so this is the front one. So 
by the time you are cutting the the fabric you will add half an inch for sewing allowance half an inch yes too for sewing allowance you do need to add at the side again because you've already added that by the time you cut it you cut it with both the lining and the main fabric add an inch here and each here you don't need to add another each any sewing allowance here we will put it at the side it's only this place and this place that needs sewing allowance thanks for staying so if you have found this tutorial helpful don't forget to give thumbs up click on that subscribe button and subscribe please tell your friend to tell your friend to subscribe thank you very much and god bless you see you in my next video god bless you bye